Don't get caught in the dark without plenty of cold Coors Light, the silver bullet. Stock up now for Halloween. Hello, darlings. Yes, it's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, every trick's treat. What's the matter? Stuck at home playing with your monster? Nothing to do on Halloween? Well, don't cry, you big baby. For the next three hours, you're invited to Elvira's Halloween party right here on the MCA Radio Network. Um, excuse me while I hang one last decoration over the front door. <laughs> there. Oh, the old dungeon never looks so good. It looks nice enough for a funeral. Ah! Elvira, I was ringing both of your doorbells and neither of them work. Those aren't my doorbells and they're working just fine. Who are you? I'm the caterer. Oh, ooh, what are those slimy things? I have newt hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, how you eat them? You just stick a toothpick right in the middle. <laughs> oh, well, just put them over there, okay, next to the pond scum punch. I'll see you later. I've got to go back to the morgue and pick up the dessert. Oh, what is that? Lady fingers. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait till everybody gets here. I've got some great games planned. Pin the tail on the wolfman, spin the coffin, hide and shriek. Oh, and I'm going to be playing all of your favorite Halloween hits. Now, doesn't that sound like fun? Oh, that's music to my ears. And here's some music for your ears. From yours truly, Elvira, that devil with the black dress. It's Devil with the Blue Dress by Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. Jump up! Get it! Hey! Devil with a blue dress, blue dress, blue dress, blue dress, devil with a blue dress on! Beep, beep, bye, bye, bo, bo, bum! Looking mighty now, here she comes! Wearing a wig hat and shades to match! Got her high heel shoes and an alligator hat! Wearing a pearls and a diamond ring! Got red!
Santana with Black Magic Woman. Uh, not to be confused with Black Magic Johnson of the L.A. Lakers. Oh, no, look at the time. My guests are going to be here any minute, and I'm not even dressed. Oh, let me just stuff myself into this costume. Uh, uh. Whoa, I almost poked my eye out. Oh, uh, uh. oh there. Whew. Now the great pumpkins are back in their patch. Well, stick around for more tricks and treats as Elvira's Halloween party continues. Scream about. Well, I bet he feels better. Oh, good. The guests are finally starting to arrive. Trick or treat! What are you supposed to be? We're ghosts! Kids, kids, kids. Let me give you a tip. All right! I said a tip. Oh. If you're gonna go as ghosts, you shouldn't wear sheets with a Smurfs printed on them, and they're all wrinkled. Here, let me iron that for you. Oh, maybe you should have taken them off first. You know, I'm an old pro when it comes to Halloween costumes. Let me give you a couple of pointers. All right! No, no, get your hands off me, you little pervert. Back, I say. Now, it's really important to look good on Halloween, okay? So if you're gonna go as a ghost, be sure the eye holes are in the general area of the eyes. Oh, and another thing. If you go trick-or-treating on the dark street, don't go dressed as a speed bump. But what about our treats? Here you go. Tuna! Uh, don't cut yourself on the can. Oh, weren't they cute? Oh, those ungrateful little brats. Well, at least I can use a can of tuna again. <laughs> Look at the time. I guess you'll be here any minute. This is Elvira hoping you'll stay glued for more of my fabulous Halloween party. I'll just pop the sweet and sour bat wings into the microwave while you listen to these messages. Another chilling Coors Light encounter with the Queen of Halloween, Elvira. Yes, darling, it's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, with yet another page from my Halloween handbook. So sit back with a refreshing Coors Light and I'll set you straight on one of my favorite topics superstition and bad luck hey if your iq is bigger than your shoe size you know that a black cat crossing your path or the number 13 can't possibly bring you bad luck but just to prove it i've asked my assistant here the coors light beer wolf to come upstairs with 13 coors lights and walk under a ladder while a black cat crosses his path see not a scratch on me this is elvira for coors and coors light Happy Halloween, darling. Don't jinx your Halloween party. Be sure to stock up on plenty of Coors and Coors Light where you see the Elvira display. Adolph Coors Company, Golden, Colorado. Hi. I hope you can hear me. Before we joined the Army Reserve, my pal Jesse and I were born stiff on weekend. Now I'm doing something exciting one 
week in a month and two weeks a year. I repair helicopters and fly in them too. But Jesse decided to do something different. He's down there, trudging around in the woods. Can you imagine that? Up here's where the excitement is. Hi. Sorry I can't talk louder, but I'm in the Army Reserve, and I'm on patrol in these woods. A while ago, my friend Grant and I had this problem with our weekends. They were about two days too long. Now we're Army Reservists, and I'm doing something exciting one weekend a month, and two weeks a year. Grant's up there flying around over the trees. I can't imagine why. Down here is where the excitement is. Be all that you can be. My weekend was fantastic. Mine too. Find the future. See your local Army recruiter. Paid for by the Army Reserve. Well, I'm back. I don't know what they were trying to sell you, but I'd buy it. Okay, I've got my costume on, my hair is ratted, and my makeup is perfect. How do I look? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> this is radio. Well, take it from me. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> People tell me I look ten years younger on the radio. Uh, let's see, that would make me, uh... Eight. Well, everything's set for my big party. Sounds like the guests are starting to arrive. Oh, here they come. I see people with bleeding faces, gouged out eyes, and axes in their skulls. Oh, great, my relatives are here. Come on in. Uh, would you please wipe your feet before you come in? The bathroom's right down the hall. Uh-huh. Okay, well, time for more music. You're tuned into Elvira's Halloween party with yours cruelly, Elvira, the hostess with the mostess. Get ready for a blast from the past, because here's Monster Mash. Uh, hey, isn't that the stuff the wolfman leaves all over your carpet? I was working in the lab late one night When my eyes beheld an eerie sight For my monster from a slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise He did the mash He did the monster mash The monster mash It was a graveyard smash He did the mash It caught on in a flash He did the mash he did the monster match From my laboratory in the castle east To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abodes To get a jolt from my electric. They did the match They did the monster match The monster match It was a graveyard smash They did the match It caught on in a flash They did the match they did the monster mash. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, all were digging the sounds. Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. They played the match. It caught on in a flash. They played the match. They played the monster match. Out from his coffin, Drac's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twitch? It's now the match. It's now the monster match. The monster match. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now the mash. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. Now everything's cool, Drax a part of the band. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them all is in. And you can mash. Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. And do my graveyard smash. Then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Mm. Mash. Ooh. Easy. You can catch you with your monster mash. 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 From the cradle bars comes a beckoning voice that's then spinning. You have no choice. Yeah, I do. 
That was Spellbound by Susie and the Banshees. <laughs> Whoa, I've never been spellbound, but I have been leather-bound a time or two. <laughs> oh, and speaking of leather, look, Marquis de Sade and his lovely wife have arrived. Help yourselves to the shackles, folks. Whoa, they sure made themselves at home. Why would anybody want to be in the S&M? Boy, it sure beats the hell out of me. <laughs> There's a moon over Bourbon Street tonight. I see faces as they pass beneath the pale lamp light. I've no choice but to follow that call. The bright lights, the people, and the moon and all I pray every day to be strong For I know what I do must be wrong Or you'll never see my shade or hear the sound of my feet While there's a moon over Bourbon Street It was many years ago That I became what I am I was trapped in this life Like an innocent lamb Now I can never show my face At noon And you'll only see me walking By the light of the moon The brim of my hat Hides the eye of a beast Of the face of a sinner But the hands of a priest Oh, you'll never see my sheet Or hear the sound of my feet While there's a moon over Bourbon Every day Through the streets of New Orleans She's innocent and young From a family of means I've stood many times Outside her window at night To struggle with my instinct In the pale moonlight Could I be this way When I pray to God above I must love what I destroy And destroy the thing I love Or you'll never see my shade Or hear the sound of my feet While there's a moon over bourbon Virus Halloween party. <sighs> Hello, Elvira. Oh no, it's breather. Can you believe it? Oh, this happens to me all the time. I even get obscene phone calls on my answering machine, and they leave their return number. As a matter of fact, that's how I got the guest list for this party. Boy, I tell you, I've heard more heavy breathing than an asthma specialist. I'm back, Elvira. I had to finish something important. <laughs> How's it going? It's going downhill now that you've called. Have tricks or treats. Ah, <laughs> ah, breather. Ooh, your mother should have thrown you away and kept the stork. 
All right, what do you want? Well, I was just wondering, uh, do you have anything on for tonight? Yeah, and don't get excited, because I'm keeping it on. I've been listening to your Halloween party. Uh, I guess my invitation got lost in the mail. Uh, have you checked the dead letter office? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I'll be right over. I just got to get my suit out of the hamper. Oh, no, wait, I've got a better idea. Why don't you just get in with it? Oh, Elvira, I, I made up a little poem for you. Here it is. There once was a girl named Elvira who wore very sexy attire. And you can bet the reason I'm wet is because she makes me perspire. Oh, 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 breather. That was really cute, really cute. <laughs> okay, here's a poem for you. Roses are red, of that there's no doubt. I'm hanging up because you grossing me out. Oh, a breather would make a perfect stranger. <laughs> the party continues after these messages. Another chilling Coors Light encounter with the Queen of Halloween, Elvira. Hello, darling. It's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, back to help you have the nastiest little Halloween ever. So, while you're enjoying that refreshing Coors Light, I'll teach you a trick or two about one of my favorite traditions, carving a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. Why is it called a jack-o'-lantern? Tell me and we'll both know. <laughs> this year, instead of the usual silly pumpkin grin, be creative. Choose a tool that makes a statement about you. Me? I like a chainsaw. There, a pumpkin after my own heart. This is Elvira for Coors and Coors Life. Happy Halloween, darling. Don't cut yourself short this Halloween. Buzz on over to the Elvira display and pick up plenty of Coors and Coors Life. Adolph Coors Company, Golden, Colorado. Um, oh, we're back. Boy, I have never seen so many party animals in my whole life. Mmm, looks like I better mix up another batch of Bloody Marys. Oh, Mary! <laughs> Drink up, everybody. <laughs> wow, look who's here. Frankenstein. How you doing, Frankie baby? Hey, saw your latest movie. Loved it. That nude scene you did with Brooke Shields was really sexy. <laughs> Made me want to go home and tease my eyebrows. <laughs> What? Uh, don't talk with your mouth full, please. <laughs> Look, Frank, repeat after me. It's time for more music from Elvira's Halloween party. <laughs> Close enough. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked. When you're unwanted, streets are uneven When you're down, when you're strained Faces come out of the rain When you're strange No one remembers your name When you're strange When you're strange When you're strange People are strange When you're a stranger Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Streets are uneven when you're down. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. Yeah. 
opens the doors with people are strange. And you know, it's so true. I mean, when you're strange, no one remembers your name. Take it from me, uh, uh, oh yeah, Elvira. <laughs> Boy, and this party is really bringing out the strange ones. Look, there's Jason. He's over in the corner with someone, trying to get his point across. Uh, love your new hockey mask, Jason. <laughs> oh, and my good friend Leatherface is here. Do I have to tell you? Turn your chainsaw off before you put it on the coffee table. Hell, dedicated to everybody on the Los Angeles freeways.
Oh, I'm glad I didn't say it was a gas. <laughs> All right, knock it off. This is supposed to be a high-class party, you know. Besides, there are children listening. That's because adults won't. Anyway, it just wouldn't be Halloween without making somebody scream. <laughs> like that. But you say, Elvira, how can I scare somebody enough to make them scream? And I say, simple. One way is to walk down Elm Street and ask Freddy to scratch your back. Yeah, that ought to make them scream. Or invite someone over to see slides of your family reunion. All 7,000 of them. Oh, that gets them every time. And how about locking somebody in a phone booth with Pee Wee Herman? Whoa, better keep a straight jacket handy for that one. Another surefire technique is to go door to door early in the morning and ask people if they'd like to buy some Amway products. Wow, that scares people a lot. Now here's a real good one. Invite your date over for a romantic evening. Put on something real sexy that you bought at Frederick's of Hollywood. Turn the lights down real low and say, how about a little mood music? Like a hundred and one polka melodies. <laughs> hey, where'd everybody go? I was only kidding. Boy, those polka melodies can sure clear a room out. <laughs> well, I guess I'd better go out and round everybody up. Elvira's Halloween party will be right back after these messages. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna learn a lot. Now I can make the most of everything I've got. If you're a young person just getting started, a little extra income could feel pretty good right now. That's what a nearby Army Reserve unit offers. Part-time income with a chance to learn another skill. And for just one weekend a month, usually a couple of eight-hour days, and two weeks annual training, you can start out earning over $80 a weekend. Think about it. Learn a useful skill and get paid for it. $80 for a weekend of training that could be useful in your career. So if you can spare one weekend a month and two weeks annual training, you could get a real change of pace and get paid for it. Give us a call. We're the Army Reserve. We're in the yellow pages under recruiting. Be all that you can be. Find your future in the Army Reserve. Paid for by the Army Reserve. Hey, groovy guys and gals, want to go underground with Elvira? Then join the official Elvira fan club. You'll receive a bumper sticker, newsletter, official Elvira ID card. Of course, that's not all. A life-size, uh, just lied, a scintillating 8x10 color glossy of the mistress herself. But that's not all. Order before midnight, send 750 to the Elvira fan club, P.O. Box 38246, Hollyweird, California, 90038. Then become one of the hip and cool, the undead. Join the Elvira fan club, or else... No, it is not like wearing a raincoat in the shower. Oh, 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 hi, we're back. <laughs> Boy, we are having some fun now. This party is really a blast. Everyone really has the spirit. Boy, I haven't seen so much makeup since Tammy Baker was on the air. And look at these costumes. Oh, there's a group that came dressed as a herd of hippos. Uh, oh, excuse me, my mistake. <laughs> it's just those girls from the Facts of Life. Uh, oh, oh no, they're, they're headed for the buffet table. Oh, look, Madonna's here. Oh, wait, no, no, it's uh, just someone dressed as Groucho Marx. Oh, well, the first hour of my Halloween party is almost over. Hey, everybody, don't you just wish this could go on forever? No! Oh, well, how about two more hours? Okay. Well, I hope you'll stick around for two more hours of fun here at Elvira's Halloween Party. Now, here's the theme song from The Color Purple. That's right, it's Chef Wooly with Purple People Eaters. Well, I saw the thing coming out of the sky. It had one long horn, one big eye. I come Mr. Shaking and I said, Louie, it looks like a purple people eater to me. It was a one-eyed, one-horn flying purple people eater. A one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people leader Sure looks strange to me One-eyed? Oh, well, he came down to earth And he lived in the tree I said, Mr. Purple People Leader, don't eat me I heard him say, in a voice so rough I wouldn't eat you, cause you're 
was your sum total. It was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eat. A one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eat. One-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eat. It sure looks strange to me. My horn. I said, Mr. Purple People Eat, oh, what's your line? He said, it's eating purple people in a short his time. But that's not the reason that I came to land. Well, this was old rock and roll, flying purple people eater, pigeon toad undergrowed, flying purple people eater. Wear, wear short shorts, flying purple people eater, sure looks strange to me. Woo! And then he swung from the tree and he lit on the ground. He started to rock, really rocking the ground. Was a crazy ditty with a swinging tune. Sing a bop, bop, a boop, a nap, a loom, bam, boom. Well, this was old rock and roll, flying purple people eater, pigeon toad undergrowed, flying purple Sure looks strange to me Purple people And he went on his way And then what do you know I saw him last night on a TV show He was blowing it out of really knocking them dead Playing rock and roll music Through the horn in his head Please to meet you. 
Elvira's Halloween party will be right back. Another chilling Coors Light encounter with the Queen of Halloween, Elvira. Hello, darling. It's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, back to help you make this Halloween one you'll never forget. So cool your thirst with a frosty Coors Light, and I'll tell you how to put a little afterlife into a party. Have yourself a seance. Hey, making contact with the other side can be a blast. And I ain't talking about a phone call to China. <laughs> but just be careful. The only spirit some people want to meet is the spirit of a cold Coors Light. Oh, you'll also need a crystal ball. Mine is a priceless antique made over 400 years ago. My assistant, the beer wolf, is bringing one right now. <sighs> For Coors and Coors Light. Happy Halloween, darling. Thanks, so my roof. Just get the broom. Add some life to your Halloween party with ice cold Coors and Coors Light. Stock up today where you see the Elvira display. Adolph Coors Company, Golden, Colorado.